Dijo que tú le mataste. No, yo soy tu padre. Mamá siempre decía, la vida es como una caja de bombones. Nunca sabes lo que te va a tocar. On the 5th of December 2013, Nelson Mandela died. About three years before he died, in 2010, blogger Fiona Broom coined the term the Mandela Effect to describe a collective false memory she discovered at the Dragon Con convention where many people, including herself, believed that former South African President Nelson Mandela died during his imprisonment in the 1980s. She explains, I thought Nelson Mandela died in prison. I thought I remembered it clearly, complete with news clips of his funeral, the mourning in South Africa, the rioting in the cities and a heartfelt speech by his widow. Then I found out he was still alive. Upon Fiamma Broom noticing this, she began blogging about what she called the Mandela Effect. Since then, the internet has filled with new examples of the Mandela Effect. But what is the Mandela Effect? The Mandela Effect is when a large group of people remember things differently to how they actually happened. Many examples come from movies, books and even corporate logos.
Beliefers in the Mandela Effect claim that certain events are actually different now to what they were when they were originally created. These differences are slight. For example, many people believe the witch from The Wizard of Oz to have shouted fly my prettiest fly when she sent out a flying monkeys to capture Dorothy. She actually shouted fly fly fly. There is a similar example in Star Wars. To the shock of many, the famous Darth Vader line, Luke, I am your father, is not actually Luke, I am your father, but no, I am your father. The Simpsons parodied both of these scenes, and on both occasions the Simpsons used the wrong lines. In one episode of The Simpsons, Mr. Burns lets out his flying monkeys and shouts out, what millions of people believe to be the correct Wizard of Oz line, fly my pretty fly, as opposed to the actual line, fly fly fly. Believers in the Mandela Effect claim The Simpsons is full of examples of the Mandela Effect, and on nearly every occasion, The Simpsons uses what millions of people believe or remember to be the correct line, but in actuality, the incorrect line. There are literally millions of people that claim to have these false memories and explanations to what is going on vary from people remembering things incorrectly to scientists at CERN somehow altering or even putting us into a slightly different reality. Explanations to why CERN might have done this also range massively. Some claim that they may be attempting time travel after Earth was destroyed in a major war Others claim that it could just be a mistake. Whatever the reason, many people online believe CERN are dangerously playing with the unknown when it comes to the Large Hydrant Collider. In the preface of a new book called Starmus, a collection of lectures given by famous scientists and astronomers, Stephen Hawking wrote, the Higgs potential has a worrisome feature that it might become metastable at energies above 100 billion giga electric volts. This could mean that the universe could undergo a catastrophic vacuum decay with a bubble of the true vacuum expanding at the speed of light. This could happen at any time and we wouldn't even see it. He also points out that an accelerator that reaches 100 billion giga electron volts would need to be larger than Earth and therefore is unlikely to be funded in the present economic climate. If Stephen Hawking believes that a large hadron collider the size of Earth could be catastrophic to the whole universe, then you would probably think a nearly 17 mile large hadron collider could easily be catastrophic to Earth. To suggest it could have unexpected or unexplained results is not really that far-fetched. What kind of reality could they have potentially moved us into? If the Mandela effect is true or caused by CERN, what kind of reality could they potentially have moved us into? If they keep doing it, could they move us into realities that become more and more different and strange? Could the reality shift potentially make it easier for strange creatures or entities to share and affect our reality? Many claim that CERN should stop doing what they are doing for the safety of us all, but could it already be too late?